Oh, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another Forza Horizon car build and tuning episode. Uh, last episode, we, we made this, which is in the background. It's a Subaru Legacy um, RS, and it's absolutely sick. Probably one of my best cars in my garage. So if you haven't checked out last video, I recommend you do go check it out, because, oh my god, it performs so good. Um, so we're going to scroll all the way to the Subaru Legacy. Um, it's quite far in the way. Um, sorry about all the clicking, but that's how we gotta do. <laughs> uh, where's Subaru? Subaru right here. Um, so we want the leg legacy. There we go. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna close my eyes um, and I'm just gonna stop randomly and we're gonna tune that car. Um, so I'm gonna go left, seeing as right there isn't too many letters. Um, so I'm gonna go count to I'm gonna count to three seconds and then I'm gonna look. Okay, let's close my eyes. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, stop. Okay, I'm not going to look yet because I don't want to. Okay, Nissan, Nissan Datsun. Interesting. Interesting build, that one. Um, I think I have made one previously, but I don't think it was too good. Um, so, I didn't really pursue it. Um, but what can we go for? Any nice paints in here? <laughs> I even had wooden wheels, like, come on. <laughs> okay, let's go for the rust bucket. Let's go for the rust bucket. Uh, it looks pretty sick. Yeah, seen as the Datsun. It is kind of classic, um, so you won't find too many in prime condition. Um, so we just found this one in my neighbor's back garden. Yeah, <laughs> covered in bushes. Um, so we're going to tune it up to, to be... A monster. I, I'm gonna say this car is gonna be a monster. Um, the first thing about this car, I want to V8 it. Um, I don't know if it's possible in this game, but I want to chuck the V8 in because the V8 on this game, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite engines in the game. Um, it just performs so well for me. So you can actually V8 it. So let's chuck the V8 in. 455 horsepower. In this beast, um, drivetrain we won't have to swap, uh, so let's not do that. Aspiration, I don't think we're going to turbocharge it. Um, I think we've got plenty of power already. Okay, what's this? So that just cleans up the bumper. I kind of like the black bumper though. Yeah, we don't want that wing. And the rear bumper, okay, we don't want that either. So, no error appearance. You could do your own error and appearance, it's up to you. Uh, Stock tire compound, that's what we want. Tires, we're going to go as wide as we can. 225s on the front and on the rear, we are going to have 225s as well. Okay, so let's drop down the front to 205s. I thought we were going to go a little bit higher in the rear, but unfortunately we couldn't go higher than 225, which is kind of kind of annoying, but you know, we, we can deal with that. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any rooms that suit it in there. So let's go into specialised. Um, there's going to be some nice rims in here that will suit it down to the earth, and I think those do. Compromotive ML, uh, that's the style I was looking for. Uh, let's make it a tiny bit more rim size in here. We don't want to go too big. Let's go for like 15s. Um, it still keeps like the small kind of feel to it, but then it is a little bit bigger. And then anyway, it's the tire wall a tiny bit as well. So there we go, 15 inch rims on there. Um, let's go for the drivetrain. And... Yeah, everything in drivetrain is going to be race, um, so go through and put that all on by yourself. And what I'm going to do this um, build is everyone's telling me to do, um, what should we call it, um, suspension, um, the off-road suspension, because apparently you get more steering angle, um, so we're going to have to explore that, um, because I haven't done it yet. Um, I did try it for about five minutes and it didn't work for me. Um, I just couldn't drift with off-road suspension. Um, I don't know what i done wrong, but I just couldn't do it. Um, so we're going to go more into depth into it here. Uh, we're going to try and tune this car to perform really well with the off-road suspension. So it does look really jacked up at the moment, but when we get into the tune and we drop it all the way to the floor, um, it's going to uh, just look just like a lowered car, basically. Um, so how much weight do we have? 913, okay. So if we just put an air filter and exhaust on this, just to get some noise, um, I think we're going to have plenty of power there. 
um, down to 865 uh, kilograms now, which is really, really light, really light. Um, so let's see what Camshaw has pushed it up to. 524, should we go for it? Let's go for 524. Why not? Uh, let's chuck the flywheel on just for loss of weight, I guess. Just minus 4 kilograms. Um, and that's that. So that's all the upgrades on. So it's going to look jacked up um, at the start. But we're going to have to drop it all the way to the floor. Uh, just to make it look normal because we don't want a jacked up drift car, you know. We don't want that. Um, unfortunately, I can't look left and right, so I can't see um, how much it actually drops it. But let's jump straight into the tune. Uh, normally, I try and drift it, but seeing as this is a different suspension, we want to try and sort out the suspension first. Uh, so let's take all the toe down. Caster can come up to six. Okay, anti roll bars. They look pretty normal, so. Um, Let's just make it a little bit stiffer. Springs, okay, so it's very, very soft. And that's what I don't like. I don't like soft drift cars, so we're gonna take this up towards the stiff side. Um, and wow, look at the ride height. That's all the way, it's all the way to the top. But what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> so let's drop all the that all the way to the bottom as well. 15 centimeters, so we lost actually 10 centimeters there. Okay. Um, rebound is really soft as well, so let's make this a little bit stiffer um, in the front and rear, but rear is a little bit softer than the front. Uh, bump stiffness can come up, and that should be gravy about there. Um, so this is just a quite literally a quick base tune, uh, just to take away the suspension kind of off-road feel. Oh, you just saw it drop then. When I came out of the pause menu, it dropped all the way to the floor. So that was what we was looking for. Um, let's head over to the airfield. Uh, we want somewhere with no traffic and some nice corners. And the airfield, you, you know it's got nice corners. Oh, Datsun. With the off-road suspension. This could only go right. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's going to go wrong, but it can only go right, alright? Right, right? Yeah, I don't know either. Don't know how this is going to go. Uh, but we're going to have to try and find out, I guess. So I can kind of see the little bit more kind of lock, if you know what I mean. Like if we... Look, look at that lock. So it looks, in terms of visual, there looks like there's more lock in the car. But we've got to see how it drifts. The fuck? What the actual fuck? My wheel feels fucked. Like this happened with the suspension when I tried it out last time. The force feedback just didn't feel right. So I don't know if it's just like a, a thing with the suspension. Okay, so that was quite nice around there. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm just going to up the tyre pressures in the front and rear. Uh, I'm just going to see if the force feedback issue kind of goes away if we get more grip in the front. Um, but yeah, it seems to be... Maybe on controller it's not as noticeable, but it's a lot slower. Um, and this was the problem I was having... Why is the music on? Um, this was the problem I was having with my last... Time I tried the suspension. It is a lot better. Look at that. That's an amazing angle. That's so smooth as well. Okay, so it reacted a little bit better that time. So maybe you just up the tire pressures and it should be a lot better. Okay, gearing's got to go a lot longer. Okay. What I'd love for Forza Horizon to do, or Turn 10, or Playground Games, whatever it is, um, just bring out, like, they've brought out an off-road pack. Fair enough. Bring out a drift pack. Just do it for the community, for fuck's sake. I don't know why they don't. They know that there's a lot of drifters out there. Uh, but they just don't do it. It's just so annoying. It's very, very annoying. 
Um, but we gotta we gotta deal with the fact that turn ten uh, don't listen to their community. Okay, so I'm just trying to test out the the steering angle here. I'm just trying to see if it does actually get a lot more. I don't know if anyone's got the figures of how much steering angle more you get. If it's a certain degrees or something, but I'm just trying to test out the points of where we can actually try and go in terms of angle. Because look at that angle, that's mad. Okay. So let's make a quick tuny tuny tuny. Um, what we're going to do is make the gearing a lot longer. Um, we're going to up the uh, tire pressure in the front a tiny bit. Uh, we'll keep the rear where it is. Okay, so the gearing is going to go a tiny bit longer. Uh, I don't want to go too far because it felt okay, but it was a little bit um, short. So only a slight adjustment there. See how that goes, but tire pressures really make a difference in terms of the suspension. Um, I, I had the problem last time and I didn't up like um, the grip. Um, I should really have done that because I only tried it out quickly because uh, someone told me about it and I tried it out quickly I just slapped it on and dropped it to the floor and sorted out the suspension and it just didn't work for me I don't know why uh, but this seems to be working now if you up the tire pressures um, towards the the grip uh, not the grip um, towards the um, higher side um, so you're getting technically you're getting less grip um, but it's making the wheels turn quicker if you know what I mean I was saying it completely wrong at the start of the episode like I was saying you like grippier but in terms you're getting less tire on the floor um, so the wheels are able to turn quicker um, if that makes any sense uh, it probably doesn't but just accept it and just accept it okay <laughs> um, so yeah it's, it's cars sort of working right now and the V8's just oh my god I thought I could push the wall there container sorry <laughs> um, but yeah this V8 is working how it should and uh, the V8 always feels good on this game for drifting it's got the perfect amount of power just stock uh, but if you slap on like a a couple of upgrades and it feels absolutely fine look at that angle what the fuck I know we didn't kind of stick it where we wanted to, but in terms of trying to find the limits of this car, it went very, 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 very angle, bro. <laughs> okay. So in terms of this car, it is very stable for a Datsun, which is very, very, very surprising. Um, I didn't really expect it to be this stable. Seeing as it is really small wheelbase and it is really light as well, um, it's got a nice bit of grip about it, which which is pretty good. But it's also got the power of the V8 behind it as well, so you're going to have the power. Um, the power as well uh, which is what you want oh uh, yeah the wheels so much better if you up the tire pressures um, just get a little bit more no let's rephrase that get a little bit less tire on the floor uh, because obviously when you inflate a tire it's gonna get more inflated so the sides will slowly come up if you know what I mean if, if that makes sense but if you if you lower the tire pressures it's gonna like sag down and there's going to be more tyre surface on the floor. Um, so if you up it, it's going to be easier for the wheel to turn like that because there's less grip on the surface. Um, so it's easier for the wheel to react and improve the force feedback. But obviously there isn't as much force in the wheel, uh, but it does improve the force feedback, which, which is good, uh, which is what I want. And it's okay, it's okay. Seeing as this is the first tune with that suspension, um, it's not actually that much different to to any other tune, to be honest. Seeing as it is a Datsun as well, it's not the easiest car to tune because it is a very small wheelbase and it is very light as well. So maybe the next episode where we get a different car, um, we could see how the suspension performs there as well. If it's a heavier car, that is, because it's completely random. So I might get another 
another light car. Uh, but if we get a heavy car, we'll be able to see how it actually performs because on a light car it is a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but it's it's come back to it's come back to like normal suspension now. Um, after up in the tire pressures, it does feel a lot better. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the tune here because it seems absolutely fine. So check it, try it out this tune. Uh, it does have the off-road suspension, so we have to get a little bit more angle. Um, it feels very stable for a Datsun as well, uh, which is what we wanted. Which is what we like as well. We love stable cars on my channel. Um, that is my main thing when I'm trying to tune cars. I just love stableness. Uh, like, look at this. Look at this. Just look at this. Bruh. We run wide onto the, onto the grass, but that car is a beast. Uh, so for you guys, I'm going to upload this tune onto the storefront for you. Um, so you can just go in there and download it. If you don't want to copy it down yourself and adjust it to your certain needs, um, you can just download it, slap it on the car, and get drifting. So I'm just going to call it Drift. Uh, drift. Um, so if you just search my gamer tag on the storefront, um, you'll be able to find it straight up, straight away. Did I just say hashtag? If you search my hit, what? If you search my gamer tag, which is Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube. I don't know if I actually said that right. Did I say hashtag or gamer tag? Because they both end in tag, so hashtag was in my head. Uh, but my gamer tag is in the top right there. Um, you won't have to see it. The camera's in the fucking way. That was really stupid. Um, <laughs> but it's the same as my YouTube. It's Kevin Toll, no spaces. Um, just quite literally, go. Um, to cars, like once you're in the Datsun, you have to be in the Datsun. Go to tune car, press the um, the button down the bottom where it says setup manager. Um, go to load setup, and then you're onto everyone else's suggested tunes. Go down the bottom where it says search, you press that, and then you can search creator, which is Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube, and you should be able to find it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.